video of a chocolate peanut butter frappe. So you would need one spoonful of um, instant coffee of Nescafe. And it's about this size spoon. And then one cup of milk about this size. About um, a full cup and a half. Now to make the chocolate peanut butter, I posted a video earlier. All I do is melt any type of chocolate on a double broiler and then I add peanut butter to it. Then I make my natural chocolate peanut butter. So we're gonna need a big spoonful of this. And then we're all gonna mix it all together. And then you would add a little bit of water to mix up the spoon of coffee. And then you would add the coffee to the milk. You can also use leftover coffee from the morning. The spoon of water into the coffee makes it mix up a lot easier. So there's our coffee and our milk. It comes out really About a big spoonful of the chocolate peanut butter. And then just some ice cubes. And then we are going to blend it up and just mix it all up. That's a large spoonful of um, chocolate peanut butter, but there's also the Nutella version. If you don't have the chocolate peanut butter, go ahead and just add the spoonful of Nutella. This makes the most delicious frappe. And you can put a pinch of cinnamon in there. So again, it's about a half blender full. This is a smaller blender about of milk, about a cup and a half, a pinch of cinnamon, a spoonful of chocolate peanut butter or Nutella, a spoonful of Nescafe mixed up with a little bit of water mixed all together in the milk. Then we are just going to put the top on and blend. And if it's um, all mixed up, go ahead and serve it. You want to pick flowers again? And you can top it with whipped cream and sauce if you want, chocolate sauce, caramel sauce. And this is a delicious homemade chocolate peanut butter frappe.